the next two? Is he still aggressive? Yeah, what do they call him? The con artist? I like that. <laughs> I, I saw that. Man, that's, that's pretty good. It's a cool nickname. All righty, Steelers Nation. Welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. I've been playing that soundbite pretty much for the last two or three weeks because Omar Khan is going absolutely off, and he is the Khan artist. Also, there's a reason that I'm wearing the headphones, which means I normally have a special guest uh, to talk football with, and my special guest today is Baba. How's it going, mate? How are you? Good, Mark. How are you doing this evening? Or day, doing, or hour it is over there. I yeah, no, right right now, so it's 1 p.m. We're recording. I don't know. What, what time is it for you over there? Well, it's 1014 Western Pennsylvania right. time. Pittsburgh okay. time. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, it's, it's, I've been doing this three years now. It's always weird. I'm 15 hours in front, like like real time. Mm-hmm. So my Thursday, my day off, and I'm nine hours behind, though, in the actual news cycle. So I miss everything. Everything. <laughs> Like, I've missed Antonio Brown being a Raider. I've missed uh, James Debo Harrison being a Patriot. I've missed, uh, uh, I think it was, no, actually, the Russell Wilson one. I was at work, but you guys might have missed that. Where were you when you found out about the Russell Wilson news? I think I was, oh, I was at work. Just No, I was at work at uh, 20 till 3 in the afternoon is when I heard about it, and I couldn't believe it. I almost fell off my chair. I was like, no way, yeah. I couldn't believe it. So, yeah. so I, I thought, because when I heard the Russell Wilson news, I thought it was later than that. I don't know. Wait, wait you know what? My, uh, you know what? That was the Kenny Pickett news. The Kenny oh. Pickett news was 320. <laughs> I can't remember when the Russell Wilson, but Kenny Pickett was 320. What? Okay. What about the Justin Fields news then? Where the were you then? Justin Fields was uh, 530. <laughs> I was on the road going to Altoona, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Um, yeah, and my buddy called me and he just told me that we just uh traded for Justin Fields and I couldn't believe it. And he told me what we traded him for, and it was like a, a bag of chips or and a couple donuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm okay with it. And that's why I, I find kind of funny, right? Because I, I I miss it all. Because the one the Russell Wilson one was my 4 p.m. So it would have been your midnight or something like that. And then kind of, I think, yeah, you might be right. It was late. I, yeah. I there's so much Steeler news. I know. Hidden, I can't keep every, I can't okay. keep everything straight. Out of all things, like the first question is out of all the big news items of last week, and now we're kind of like chilling down a bit more. And our podcasts are getting, you know, trying to re- re- reflect on most things. What was the biggest thing you saw out of every single move? Like Wilson, Fields, DJ being traded away. What was the biggest move you saw the Steelers do? Well, I do like the Wilson move. I mean, I'm okay with that. He won, won a Super Bowl, lost a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. But the biggest signing, I think, is Patrick Queen. True. True. Yeah. And we stole him from the Ravens, too. Yes. And I, I hate the Ravens. So that's mm-hmm. I, anything we, we could take off the Ravens, I'm happy with. You know what's funny, too? I tried to watch the highlights of Queen. I know he's a good player, but I couldn't do it. He's wearing because purple. he was in a, ra- a Raven house. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I, re- I really did. I tried sitting down and I was like, I want to watch highlights and great play. And I've, I've seen him, you know, play us the last few years. Right. And the same one with, um, I think it was the, the, the Elliot guy, the, um, the Sean Elliott, the safety. He also played for the Ravens too. And I think Queen texted him and talked to Omar and said, bring in the safety as well. But I know he was like a dolphin and, and a Raven. But yeah. when I started watching Queen highlights, I think it was like 30 seconds in. I was like, mm mm. Can't do it. I just couldn't. Well, you know, that's it. Wait, 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 wait till training camp when you get the black and gold. And then you watch <laughs> yeah. time. Big time. Yeah, right, that's, gonna... that's an upgrade. I mean, that's an upgrade. I'm happy with that one. 100%. Well, the thing is, I've heard too that uh, um, uh, is it Holcomb? Hulk, is it Cole Holcomb's going to be? He's in the gym lifting weights yeah. right now. So it could take him many, many months for him to actually. He's still rehabbing. He, yeah, he's still rehabbing. So He went through a really, really bad injury too, right? With his leg. Oh, that was that was so. Oh, that was. I bad. can't even imagine. Like we talk about, you know, the names of football and football players, but we're not even we're not there with him. It's like, it's like the Ryan Shay's ear injury. We're not there in the building or doing the day to day stuff. Like we just say, oh yeah, you know, Cole Holcomb, he'll be back, but he's probably been through a crazy experience, like going through the injury process, right? Well, I'm gonna imagine with that that injury it was live, you know, during that game and just the traumatic experience of getting hurt like that mm. takes its toll and. Mm. uh you know, he has to rehab it. And then, like I said, he's in the gym lifting. So lifting is different than running, you know, cutting on the field. And mm. it's two, it's a two different monster. So I, I don't know if he'll be back to the way he was 
you know, when the Steelers signed him before he got hurt? I, I don't know. That, and that could be a big possibility that he might never be the way he was. Maybe, maybe that's why the – or my camera's going funny. But maybe that's why the Steelers went and got Queen, too, as a guy to pair up next to, to Roberts, right? Could be a possibility. Well, you know, the upgrade – that was out. a huge upgrade. I mean, just to cover. They haven't had anybody since Jazier. It was just huge. His speed and just him being whatever he needed to be in the middle of the field. That's been our weakness for the last – oh, since Jazier went out. Um, and we haven't re- we haven't recovered since. So hopefully Queen act, a, adds a lot to with that Steeler defense, which it's high cost. Like I said about a half hour ago, there's three you got three players that add up to about seventy five million dollars, and we need to get a playoff victory uh, before something like before Cam goes uh, to retirement. We need something quickly. Speaking of uh, upgrades, I'm going to bring in uh, Shane, who's an upgrade over me. So, like, I, I'm, a pretty, I'm, a, I'm a pretty big Steeler fan, but I'm going to bring in Shane, another special guest uh, well, here on the video here. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, I Shane, think you're, on, you're a bigger Steelers fan than I am, Mark. I'm a Steelers fan, but no, uh, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm, I'm pretty excited about – I was – I don't really get amped up about NFL football, but with what's happening with the Steelers organization, I'm very excited. And on Bubba's show an hour ago – I, I was screaming. You were you were you were <laughs> pumped the camera, up. but but okay. I'm, well, you, you I'm, go, Bubba. I'm always pumped up, though. This is the mm. best time right now to set the standard. The sta- okay, the standard is a standard, but it's a different Damn. standard now. The standard is now is to get into the playoffs and win one. I believe it. It's cashed all in. I believe. I've got that somewhere. This stand- there it is here. That was a a picture I took in uh, in Pittsburgh. There, the standard, there the standard. Go. There you go. There you go. I was, I was there. You know what? That's in front of Mark. Take. That's in front of a urinal, so that people hit the hit the pisser <laughs> instead of all over. And I I have that in front of my kids' toilet in their bathroom. The standard's the standard, and they can't fucking make, meet the standard. Make sure you don't miss, <laughs> eh? Hey? Oh, when, when, when you get older, it kind of does, you know. That's we've got like this one in, in Australia. We've got this one to scare us to scare the living piss out of us when we're when we're peeing. That's all we have. Is it <laughs> koala eating the uh, eucalyptus leaves right there? You know what I mean? That's all we have. Have there. you went out in the woods and peed and have one of those looking at you? Yeah. Nah. Uh, nah. I'd, I'd be more scared like if I was near like a lake or something like that. Like you know, up north we have all the crocodiles and stuff and alligators and Ooh, stuff. That'd like be that. bad. That'd yeah. Be bad. Yeah. You don't want to get any seen a koala like like out and uh, about. I don't. I don't think so. I think. I think. I, see, I think. Seen kangaroos. Never seen like a random koala on a tree. But I've seen yeah. like kangaroos and wallabies and that kind of stuff out in the wild. Uh, but mostly we just see them on like you know the sanctuaries or whatever, like the animal sanctuaries. You know, they just they really they just high they, they're high on um the leaves <laughs> there. <laughs> so I'm <funny>. surprised. <laughs> that look, looks like he's been drinking for a while. <laughs> right out that looks like me at two in the morning. My wife catches me catches <laughs> yeah. me in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's a. Uh, I, that meme has been used so many like there's like that koala picture and like you know just i don't know um well, that's great like, I love looking, it. At, looking at matt Canada's offense is like bang like that you know oh uh, let's not talk about him oh, oh yeah, yeah yeah he's gone All right, well, what we're going to talk about is in eight minutes in the show and i'm going to bring in uh well bobby here and shane you guys are from the triple b experience and you do the the black and gold dynasty podcast right that's yes. correct i think yes that. that's yeah. that's one of the many podcast that i do on the triple b experience channel yeah, I, I don't think, yeah. Steelers, so. you guys yeah. are like me you never leave your room you're just always on the internet right you're always <laughs> no, i'm always yeah. here you guys are there all the time <laughs> yeah um all right i want to i want to because i'm because i'm the host today on, on this channel steel nation Oz, where you guys are and i want to i want to find out your story how you guys became a pittsburgh steelers fan then we're going to go into the hard topics of like what's happening with the steelers so mm-hmm. bubba how did you become a steelers fan well i Everybody uh, that's listening to uh, Steeler Nation Australia, I've been a Steeler fan because my grandfather had season tickets to Three River Stadium in 1971. So my grandfather, God bless his soul, went to all four Super Bowls in the 70s. So growing up in the 70s, that's what it was. It was a steel curtain, going to training camp and seeing Bradshaw and Lambert, you know, and having Mean Joe Green touch you on the shoulder and say, hey, kid, calm down when you're pushing everybody out of the way so my sister can get an autograph for Mean Joe. Um, Yeah, I've been a Steeler fan all my life. Um, I was a season ticket holder for 17 years. I probably could have bought a house years ago, but then, you know, I I quit in uh, 2010. I've been to two AFC championship losses that still hurt me in my soul. 
um, uh, losses to the New England Patriots, which I despise the Patriots like you despise mm -hmm. Cincinnati. Um, and I don't like the Ravens, and I don't like I don't like any other team <laughs> besides the team that we three of us are talking about. There is no mm -hmm. other team for me, and that's I mean I can know football stuff from anywhere, but I really don't even care. I only care about yeah yeah that's all, all I time. care about yeah. So I mean I've been the steel uh, I got Steeler memorabilia. I've been the you know I've been I got my name my name is in uh, Heinz Field in the stadium because I was a season ticket holder. Uh, I bought a seat license in 2001 when they built high. Hey, what, what, what do you mean? Your name's in the stadium. Like my name actual, is in the stadium. Because your actual name? My actual real name, Kenneth oh. R. Brewer Jr., is in the stadium due to the fact when Heinz Field was getting there, I bought a seat license. So all the seat license holder, when they bought when when they bought their tickets for Heinz Field, got their name in Heinz yeah. Field. So my name will be in Heinz Field forever, and I call it Heinz Field until they build another stadium. And by the time they build mm -hmm. a new stadium, um, I won't be around. But uh, – yeah, that's that's all. I mean, I, I I get so been out of shape if I work during the Steeler game. I I been like that for all my life. I can't. I next year in 2024, I never have to work a game ever again. I am off, so I get to watch the well, games you can't all the time. Replay. If you're watching replay, you're a madman. No, I don't like. I I no. Yeah. I, I I can't. I gotta watch it. I can't watch replays because I gotta watch it live. It's just something about watching mm. a Steeler game live to me. It, I, I don't like to do replays and I haven't had a replay. I haven't watched a replay in probably 15 years. And the only reason why I did that, because I was out of town and I was at Massachusetts and I couldn't watch, I couldn't go to the game because I had a, a prior engagement. That's why I wake up at bloody 3am to watch it. Cause I can't wait to, someone told me before, we, d d just sleep until 10 and then watch a recording. No, no. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go right to ESPN and go, ah, no, or yes. And then go, oh, now I can't watch it. Either right. way, I can't watch it once I know. Uh, well, what about yourself, Shane? What about your steel but, story? But three a.m. is like the like the cutoff because if it's two a.m., you're just gonna stay up and then watch it. But three a.m., <laughs> you can go to bed and get up, so that's not too bad. But yeah, going back to your question, uh, I don't have a great answer like Bubba, but I remember seeing the Steelers in pop culture and then going to the local grocery store and seeing Steeler stuff. So you kind of associate, oh, this is a local organization. The, you know, the Steelers. I remember seeing it in pop culture, Smokey and the Bandit, too. Have you ever seen Smokey and the Bandit with Burt Reynolds, Mark? No, but I'm, I'm going to I can't Google believe it. you used that one. <laughs> Let me Google yeah. it. Well, anyways, uh, so, and then the other time, uh, yeah. me and Joe Green was at the mall, and he thought I was a little girl. So I blame all the question people that question their their gender gender fluidity nowadays on me and Joe Green can't tell the difference between a boy and a girl. You get, you wait, know? wait, wait. You go all the way back to 1980 for that. Uh, that 1980, right? 1979 yeah, or 80. Girl. He thought I was like yeah. a five year old little girl. Well, hey, you know what? I was I was cute. And look uh, how you turned out now. Hey? <laughs> I know. Beat. You know. <laughs> hey, my sundress covers my back hair very nicely. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but. But no, that's how I remember. I go back to the, you know, the 70s, you know, because my memory goes like I'm just a couple years younger than Bubba. So like the Steelers dynasty was on the down. Like I remember 79 season, you know, it was, it was the, the Steelers year. and the, and the Pirates year. were really good that year. You know, mm -hmm. they won a Super Bowl and a World Series that year, which is fantastic. So. We were kind of spoiled, and then in the '80s, it was kind of a struggle, and uh, we're just yes, we're just sad, you know, disgruntled fans hanging on the glory days of 10, 10 or you know whatever twelve years prior. So the '80s were kind of tough, and I was I was a I was a casual fan, but I still always rooted for the Steelers, mm -hmm. and you know, and then I remember in college them going to the Super Bowl. Uh, you know, and losing to the Cowboys. Terrible. And, Terrible. You know, and then, so I was always a Steelers fan, but not like a, like I didn't bleed blue and, or, you know, black and gold, but they were my number one team. But I think I never really, you know, jumped in with both feet because the 80s were such a disappointment. Mm. It's like, it's like asking that, that, uh, that girl to to a dance that found Jesus, but she used to be very promiscuous. You know, you think you're gonna get it. You think you're gonna get that get over the top, but she's she's catching the Holy Spirit. It's not happening. Mm -hmm. And until it happened, you know, 
years later, it was really hard to embrace that because of the disappointment, you know, them going and 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 then losing. If we had know, a quarterback, college. if we'd had a quarterback in the eighties, it'd be a different they, story. They would have had Dan Marino. Yeah, and that's what my story. dad said. If they got Dan Marino, they would have been set. Mm -hmm. And it was that disappointment. But you know, I I still am a Steelers fan, but I still hold that little bit. You know, I like that. I kind of shield myself off because I don't want to get butt hurt because. You know, everybody just loves that organization. And with that being said, I want to tie into one last thing. And I'll stop freaking talking. When we had those signees come to Acresure Stadium, they pointed to that shield, that black and gold, you know, Steelers logo. And they said, that's why I'm here, because this yeah. is a, a great organization. Yep. And I took it for granted. Okay, and what I'm saying, I'm getting around to it. I'm tying up with Bo here, moving out of state, living all over the United States, and out of the, out of uh, you know out of the out of the country, and coming back to live into Western Pennsylvania after 20 years away. I missed that, mm -hmm. and I don't take it for granted now. When I look at that black and gold, I realize that that's like a sense of family. And even though you're you're halfway around the world. You mm -hmm. understand that sense of family. And if you had a black and gold Steelers hat and you were walking around, people are so nice to you because they know <laughs> it's you universal. are. It's universal. Just like Willie yeah. Stargell, we are family, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Is that a song? We yeah. are yes. family. The Pointer Sisters. Yeah. yeah, the Pointer Sisters. Wait, no, no. Sister Sledge, I'm sorry. See, I'm all messed up today. Sister Sledge. No, the poor, uh, we are family. I don't know who sings Sledge. that. I'll have to look it up. Sister it's, Sledge. It's, no, it's true, though, because um, I, I always say, like, with the, the Lombardis behind me, you can go back and watch six games if you want to, six games in a row for, like, what, almost a day, and you can you can get all the, the all the history, and Bengals fans can't do that. <laughs> no, they can't. Like, they, they what, are you going to watch zero and three Super Bowl losses? No. You're going to watch that, <laughs> you losers. We're gonna sit, sit down with a nice, you know, uh, nice dinner and a beer. And like, I've had a hard day at work. I'm really stressed out. Oh, I'm gonna go watch some Super Bowls. Can't no, do you don't do because you losers. They lost. They lost three of them. It's been 58 years. So we can do that though because we, you know, I, I, I started watching in 2002 with Tommy Maddox and, and the games, and I've told my story a million times. But you know, and then I had Big Ben. So I don't go back. Like I, I don't have any connection to the to those to, to, to that era because I wasn't alive. You know, even with like me and Joe Green, I know he's awesome, but I saw the connection. My connection is with mm -hmm. Troy, James Debo Harrison, Lawrence Timmons, you know, those blokes, Farrier, Big Ben, and it's awesome. So when I'm like, you know, I don't know, 2000, uh, 2100, if I'm still alive, I can go back and go, oh, I remember Troy, he was the best. You know what I mean? So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm keen, I'm, I'm keen for that, but like, I, I still, I still laugh and, and love because our, our Steelers organization, yeah, we're going through up and down times, but Omar Khan right now is killing it. Like he's on fire. I, I think and we can't, can't win in the off season, but the Browns never won one, or they they kind of cheat because they were the they turned into the Ravens, they moved away overnight, and then like their their history from like 1989 is all skewed. And the Bengals have never won one, and the Ravens suck. So I think we're good overall. They all suck, but the yeah. Steelers organization, Mark and Shane, they only had a brief moment of loss from 1971 to now. Like prior, we were we were the laughing stock in the NFL. From 71 on, we have not been a laughing stock. We might have had a, no, a drop off season. Feared. Maybe one drop off season, but you know what? We're coming back. And and I believe that the last year getting into the playoffs, we didn't win, but I think this year is there's something about this <clears throat> Omar Khan. It just something positive that I'm seeing here with all these signings. And I think Tomlin. Now, sometimes mm -hmm. I, I'm not a big Tomlin guy. I, I think uh when they had the trip the killer bees. Not the triple bees, the killer bees, and we didn't get any rings out of that. That was a big disappointment. Um, but now mm -hmm. I think he's gonna yeah, catch 2018 everything in. crushed me. Yeah, Ca yes, it broke me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I'm think gonna he tell everything in this year, I believe. I, I want to tell Mark and Bubba. I wanted I told you this, Bubba, but I just went out to the West Coast a couple weeks uh, about three weeks ago, and I ran into an NFL safety. His name's Brady Breeze. He looks like a million bucks. I have him in my phone. He called me, gave me his number, but he didn't answer when I asked him to come back on the Triple B show. So, you That's know, he good. ghosted me. I get it. You're too hot for for, <laughs> for us. You know, you're, you, you look like a million bucks. So, but he was really nice. Talked to him for about 40 minutes. And 
he said when Tennessee beat the Steelers, you know, what I got from him, he, you could tell even the Steelers in a down year, that was big for him. You know, just the way he, you know, he, he, he told me about, yeah, we beat the Steelers. Like, yeah, I know you beat the Steelers. And then I asked him, your season seemed to kind of like, you know, you were taken for granted. And then people took you seriously after that win, even in a down year, you know, I'm talking to an NFL player and that respect is still there, there for the organization. They might not be as feared, but they're still feared. You know, you don't want to play them. Who, our Steelers? Well, I think it's coming no, you back. Don't, you don't want to play the Steelers. Like these, these other organizations, they, they don't, they don't, that's not the, in college, it's called the homecoming game. It's the easy mm. game you schedule. Not the anymore. Steelers are never an easy game. No. These guys no. really, you know, mark that on their calendar as a big win. You know, if they, if they managed to beat the Steelers, that turned their season, the Titans. You coming from coming from an NFL player, you know, I didn't really see that perspective. You know, you know, I didn't really understand that. But you know, you can tell that is that, is that you last know, last year with the Titans? Didn't we beat the Titans last year? I, Shane, uh, I think you're talking about the Houston Tennessee. Texans. You're talking about oh, the Texans. Yeah, he plays for the Texans. My yeah. bad. Oh, the yeah, Texans. Yes. My the bad. Texans. Yeah. I'm look. I'm looking at stuff on my screen, and I'm seeing the, <laughs> the Titans for Christ's sake. That's no, okay. the, the you know the, the right. yeah the the Texans and the they Texans smacked guys. us too. By the way, the Texans absolutely smacked us. No, C- yeah, yeah. With with CJ, yeah, they that that turned the corner for their season. I'm sorry, but it's just That's really okay. strange to hear that perspective. He's like. Cause I said, Oh, I'm from Pittsburgh. He's like, Oh yeah, we beat the Steelers. Like right. he was really, you yeah. know, excited to tell me they beat the Steelers, you know? And I asked him, I said, yeah, you were really, um, you know, came out of nowhere, you know, on a, on a pick em show. I didn't have you guys winning, you know, and then you guys really start playing some I ball. I thought we were going to beat them. I thought the Steelers were going to beat Tech and the nice Strouds. Really they should. They should have. They, they should. They played they great football, great defense. They they did everything everything well, and we just sucked. Like that right, game was right. like that game. I have one of my, my mates there, the Arsenal DB. He's got a channel too, and, and he was over in the game, and he got uh, a birthday present from his uh, grandmother and mother, and he just because he lives in Texas way, and he went. And I was like, oh man, that that's bad. So and then they they and they went to the playoffs and they did their thing too. Uh, I think they beat the Browns like forty five to something, yeah, to seven or something like that. So they're they're a good up and coming team with um D'Amico Ryan's and, and their head coach and stuff like that. And Stroud looks awesome. So uh, I, I don't know. We just got out coached that game. We got out coached. Yeah, by a rookie yeah, and that's why I think like Mike Tolman does get a bit of a, a bad rap in those things too. But I, I see. But then players want to come play for him, right? Queen and uh, Elliot do. They want to come over. Russell Wilson, like a six hour well, meeting with them, well, you know. Well, Mark, Mark, everybody wants to play for a guy who's never lost. It's true. So, I yeah. mean, but also, too, after that, the regular season to me is like you're courting somebody and she's not uh, letting you into the door, into the house because you can't get in. You can get <laughs> on the porch, but you can't get in. The playoffs, yeah. not winning these playoffs is, is, is very detrimental to being a Steeler fan. And we all, that, that I feel is, the pain. Yeah. That is the one thing I think, and like we, as a Steelers fan, we we've been now, yeah, seven years, right? So that is the next step, and it has been the next step for a while. And I'm a huge Mike Tomlin guy, and I understand the frustration on 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 the other side of like, yeah, the regular season's good, right? But then there are other fan bases out there that can't even get the regular the regular season right, and there's so so much turmoil. But as the we brought it before with the standard, the standard is yes, I feel like we go on a bit of a run this year. The defense always seems to be in it, but sometimes we get injured near the end. And TJ Watt plays that game last year with the Bills. I think it's, I think it's different. Um, yep. you know, if yep. he wins and butts and whatever. Mason Rudolph doesn't throw a pick there. George Pickens does a fumble. It's like Fryer Muth almost fumbled, by the way. That Fryer Muth, we got away with one. That was a we fumble did. by a mile. We did. It, 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 I, don't, I don't think it hit him. So I think to get over the hump is that just a one playoff win, but then also try and continue and get two and build on something. But I think with Omar Khan, and I want to go uh, uh, ask Shane this question because I already asked Bubba, but with Omar Khan, Shane, who, what's the best signing or, or departure or the best move he's made this season so far? <laughs> well, the obvious one, of course, is uh, <laughs> is how he got fields. You know, he, he, you know, Russell Wilson, I had been, you know, when I saw the fact that he was going to be do that money, I brought it up on Bubba's show and everybody's like, we don't want him. And I, and I, I don't know. I, at the time I'm like, I don't think I want him. 
crazy. You, you know, you know, I mean, people were saying that not on Bubba's show, but like people in, in, in the fandom, you know, on blogs and stuff. And I thought, man, that's a pretty, that's a good deal. And then, you know, because he had a bad season, they said, well, they said, well, his, his good, his golden years are past him. He's just, he's 35. He's past his prime. And I thought, even if you get him for a couple years, that buys you some time for Kenny Pickett. Well, I never in a million years thought that Fields would be here. You know, Bubba, Bubba said in, in, earlier that he about crapped himself going to the show. And I mean, too, mm. I saw that early in the more earlier that day, I heard some, some scuttlebutt about it. And I'm like, no, that's, that's just baloney. That's not legit. Cause usually as soon as I hear something, I, I, I text Bubba, whether it's Kathleen Kennedy with star Wars or anything. I'm like, Bubba, yep. this is happening. You need to, well, you know, and I'm like, no. And I could kick myself because it's like, man, this is too good to be true. And, and I, th I still pinch myself because yeah, you don't want Justin Fields as your number one, but mm -hmm. have him come in as a dual, you know, playing with, you know, uh, an older Russell Wilson because Russell Wilson might get hurt and you have a, a very, very good backup that will see some snaps as a number one. We got two starting quarterbacks on the Steelers team from last year, which is unheard yeah. of. And we got him for less than $4 million. And if any Steeler fan doesn't like that, then to me, they're just not thinking logically because Russell Wilson had 26 touchdowns. Mm. Kenny didn't have that. I don't think he had that in his career. So he had four, 14, 14. I think. Yeah, there you go. The, the thing yeah. is like, I still find it crazy that it actually happened because I was thinking that the Steelers organization doesn't do these moves. They don't. And they're going to go Kenny Pickett. And in the space of like 10 days, it went from Kenny Pickett and no one else to having Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. That that blows my mind away. Like I've been watching for twenty two years. You guys watch more longer than me. But that's not never happened. Steelers. This is not your typical no. Steelers. No, this, this is not, is not Steelers. Steelers move. off season. No, the, the, Omar right. Khan and Art Rooney has told Omar Khan this is it because you have T.J. Watt, you have Minka, you have Cam Hayward, the three faces of fear. This is their last. This could be the last hurrah for this defense to get in the mm. playoffs. And I'm telling you, they're cashing. I'm pumped up. I'm very excited because I see. I mean, we have a couple holes we need to fill, and I don't know if we're going to fill them anymore with signing people. And then that draft is going to be huge because last year's draft, some of those guys actually contributed to the team. So I, I we just got to get over that hump of get we, we can get into the play. Getting into the playoffs is not mm -hmm. hard. Winning a playoff game is the hard thing. That's the killer. Mm -hmm. I, I reckon they, they almost need, uh, I think I've said it before too, they almost need a home game. I think for a playoff, they need something a bit different to go, go into the Chiefs or go yeah, into the maybe. Bills. They almost need a bit of a home game to have that advantage. And, and what Russell or Wilson's going off. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, true. Or, or true. Yeah. Went out. Uh, we, we and, this, uh, this season, though, I keep thinking this too, right? I've got the whole, um, the opponents here as well. This season's going to be very tough, though. Uh, do I still have it? I've got a million pitches here. I think yeah, I do. We, we yeah, have yeah, a tough it, season, but this it is offense is tough. This this mm -hmm. offense is going to be totally different. We're going to run the ball, use double tight ends. Um, mm -hmm. I'm I'm not scared. Of, I'm not scared of anybody. I'm not even scared of the Kansas City Chiefs. I I know we we playing them. We're playing them at home. Thank God. The last time we played mm -hmm. them at home, Patrick Mahomes threw four touchdowns against Big Ben. But I don't I don't I'm not scared of the Kansas City Chiefs. I don't think the Chiefs, the 49ers in the Super Bowl, if they want to fumbled and you can't let Patrick Mahomes have the ball you know, in, mm -hmm. in overtime, you just mm -hmm. don't, that's just a poor coaching decision. I'm not scared of anybody. Now the inner division, like the inter, yeah, the inner divisions with your, you know, the hated Cincinnati Bengals, the mm -hmm. Cleveland Browns and the Ravens, you know what we, we did good without even having a, a quarterback of the caliber of Wilson or fields last year. And it we could have been six and O could have yeah. been six with the, 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 the Kenny game and the, 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 the Browns mm -hmm. being about 13 and 10. Now it's been reported that the Steelers fired Canada. And they were going to choose either, either benching Kenny or firing Canada. Now, now both has happened, which is good. Uh, but we could have went six and O that's it. Yep. You know, so. but Mark, you hit the nail on the head. You, we went from being happy that they no longer had offensive coordinator coordinator. That's how desperate. We were as fans. Mm, we were sure. just, oh, oh my gosh, they fired Matt Canada, <laughs> and then but Kenny was averaging like twelve as uh, running the offense. Mm. You know, uh, December sixteenth, they they put thirteen points up. December seventh, eighteen points up. December third, ten points. 
you know, Terrible. November 26, 10 points. You know, you get Mason Rudolph comes in, they score 30 for four points, and we're over the moon. Mm -hmm. But guys, all those games, like they could have beat the Patriots. Patriots, Patriots yep. only scored 21 points. Yep. Steelers could only come up with 18. You're talking to, you know, this is, these scores are mm -hmm. almost like you're taking a snapshot from 1985. You know, it's, it just blows your mind that, that the Steelers are not an off and they've never really been an offensive but, juggernaut. But even in the, but, in the, in the eighties, the quarterbacks now were probably a little better than what we just uh, got rid of. I hate to say this, but Bobby Brister was something. He had a strong arm. Neil O'Donnell. Yeah. And, and I mean, those guys, Neil took us to the Super Bowl. Um, yeah. Kenny, Kenny just didn't have the, uh, the desire and the passion, I think to actually, he, he didn't want to suit up in the emergency quarterback and in Cincinnati or against Seattle, excuse me. Um, and, and, and I believe that people knew that, and he didn't want to face any competition as soon as Russell came in, he knew he was going to sit I would have wrote him off. If he didn't want to dress, I would have wrote his ass off right then. I mean, and, but, but also guys. They've cut all the fat out. The people that don't want mm -hmm. to play for the Steelers, they've Dante Johnson gone, uh, Percy Harvin gone, uh, people that were cut, which is good. So, I mean, the atmosphere is – this training camp is going to be a little different this year. It's going to be something. It, I just feel the the electricity I'm, – I'm getting to be positive because I know, Mark, on your shows – all the time, you're very upbeat. You're very positive. There's I no try anti. to be. You are. You are. You're mm. great at it. There's no Except anti. Except I, I hate Claypool. Well, and, I and... I hated him too because that was, <laughs> that was that was a bad draft pick. Um, and now yeah. he's probably uh working on a Miami down there selling flowers or something. No, uh, he, he's a he's a free agent right now. Claypool's Nobody wants good. him. Nobody yeah. wants him because nowadays some of these guys don't have the, the, the determination and the desire to play in the NFL. And my God, I think the three of us, if we had the natural athletic ability, uh, by God, I would want to play. Well, I don't, but I would want to play a little bit more than these guys hey. have. They, the thing that they don't have is heart. They don't have heart anymore. I, could, I could run, but I get absolutely, you know, smashed. Well, I like, can't run. One of the big guys, the six foot eight guys on the D line, just, just tear me in half like the Hulk. You know, <laughs> I'd give it a go. I wouldn't wouldn't say no to it. Would well, be kind of crazy. We just we just um, need to we just need to sign some people. We got we got some. Omar Khan is, is way better than Kevin Colbert. Co Kevin, mm. I think some of his draft picks cause the Steelers dire consequences. I believe. And the last, of course, Kenny Kenny was under I his regime. What, you boys are missing out on a on a on cutting a clip for every one of your shows. I would have a picture of. Of Khan from Rathacon. <laughs> and every time someone mentions him, I would put a picture of him up because that is the funniest th meme. I love it. It makes me laugh no matter how many times I see it. When you see uh when you see him yelling Khan, either either it's uh Shatner or the picture of Khan. That but is, that's anyways, the best Star I just that's love the best it. Star Trek. That's the best Star Trek ever, right I, there. I yeah. this one. This one. From last year, I, I, I saw this one with a, with a, I played a few times. This one's from last year, right? I love this one. Uh, Dad, why is my sister's name Rose? Because your mother loves roses. Thanks, Dad. No problem, Steelers 2023 draft class. <laughs> I think that's great. I think that, that's awesome. You know, that goes back to Khan. Khan had a great draft class right last year. So I think, I think, um, he's definitely coming to being more aggressive, right? You know, in the offseason, too. Like I, I think he's um... he goes against the grain of what Steelers. The Steelers are very conservative. Yep. Uh, like yep. uber conservative on the way they draft, and mm -hmm. uh, they're risk averse. And Khan is a riverboat gambler. I believe. I think yep. he's a wheeler dealer. You know, he has one of those handlebar mustaches, a, a cigar, a, a, you know, one of those cigarettes with a little filter added to it. Maybe <laughs> one of those. You know, Colonel Sanders hats, you know, like a Confederate. Frank, uh, frankly, you know, my darling. <laughs> like, hey, you know, hey, yeah, yeah. come over here. You know, I just, he's he's really just kind of kicked the Steelers. And Art Rooney, looking back at an interview from a month ago with, with Art Rooney, I was, I'm like, oh my gosh, he's telling us, without mm -hmm. telling us, that changes are ahead. So if you go back mm -hmm. and look at that video, he, he's almost telling us, guys, just wait. We're going to make some really big changes without saying it. And it just, it, it, 
I well, couldn't believe. Uh, well, the thing you said about that, it. Shane, is because all the other uh, minority owners of the Steelers are probably chirping in his ear to like, hey, we need some changes. So I, he's the last two years, Con has now last year when he signed, you know, when he signed Mitch, you know, when he when he did that and he just that was a, a little bit of house money and he lost. OK, mm -hmm. that I, I thought that Mitch would be a gap fill quarterback that did not. I thought Mitch would have done better. I, I thought I, so, too. I thought he would have been like at least like average. Yeah, he's he terrible. Average. Like he, he yeah. was so hard to watch games. I, I still remember when I was coming home from the pub on the week four and he was versing the Jets and I went to bed at one and I tried to get up at three and I was too drunk. So I was like, no, nah, I can't get up to watch it. My first game that I've missed in 15 years because I knew that Trubisky was starting. And I was like, oh. Can't watch. So I didn't. And then, then I missed Kenny Pickett's uh, debut. And now it's okay because he's an eagle, right? I was always a Kenny guy. I try and get behind the, as best I can. But now Kenny's out. Mitch is gone. Rudolph's gone. And we have Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. But it blows my mind that we still have these guys. It's crazy. But you had the two characteristics of the two quarterbacks leaving. Kenny left on a sour note. Mason mm. Rudolph, to his credibility, you know, was very classy sure. on leaving the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, that last month of the Steelers with Mason Rudolph was probably is just exciting. Pretty that fun. last month was, yeah. I mean, I was all in. And he tried, and uh, we just we just didn't have enough ammo to go up. It's hard to play in, in Buffalo, and it just it just didn't happen. I mean, we tried it, but he when he went out classy, where Pickett did not do the same thing as Mason. Well, he's never been given a shot, right? Really, like Rudolph, and I know a lot of the fan base didn't like Rudolph for his play right. in the 13 games, but he was never given a shot. They started no. Mitch, and then they went Kenny second, and then they pushed him to the back. And they had to rely on Rudolph, and he kind of saved the season that was Tomlin's almost losing season, came back to the playoffs, and then they start Rudolph, and then Kenny wasn't happy. That went over to last year. And yeah, Rudolph now gets a chance. He might get a chance to play Titans. Uh, uh, Will he, Levis, might, he, might, you know, he might start. He might start. He might start, but the sad yeah. part about it is Ben, I love Ben Roethlisberger, but Ben didn't want Mason Rudolph drafted in the first place, no. so he wasn't helping him out. Now, if Ben would have helped him out, can you imagine where Mason Rudolph would have been if Ben would have just kept his ego in check to actually help him out a little bit and said, hey, you're going to be – here's the, you're the heir apparent of the Steelers. But, mm. I mean, I've been to games – I got I was at the game where he got knocked out on a stretcher. I was at the game where he uh, they tied against the uh, Detroit, and that wasn't even his fault. Dante fumbled, Fryermuth fumbled. Yep. You know, I mean, th those are bad situations, but he's got a new fresh start, and he's going to be probably starting way quicker than Kenny Pickett is in Philadelphia. Oh, hundred percent with, with uh, Jalen Hurts. He's. Oh, I always find that move kind of funny. So I know I know he's an Eagles guy, and maybe Shane, you can kind of expand on this. But why? Why do you think the Steelers traded? Kenny Pickett to the Eagles. Does it really matter where they trade and do the, the Steelers care? I, I think, okay, I have, I, I've read a little bit about this. I think it was, uh, I think Kenny had a few teams in mind and I think they shopped them and it was whoever, whoever, the, it's like deal or no deal. Whoever hit that yeah. buzzer first got them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Winner. <laughs> you know, it was, a, you know, that, that's basically, it's that simple. He put himself in, in in as a player, as a QB in the league, in, in probably the worst position because Jalen Hurts not losing the job to him unless he's like injured. And even then, we don't know if Kenny Big will get the job over the the third quarterback, right? So uh, I don't know. I think his 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 career is going to be on the down. That'll happen in ninety minutes. He'll Mark. be in the XFL. Ninety minutes is flash the bang. You know, he went from being a backup with the Steelers to being a backup Crazy. with the Eagles. And we verse him this year too, but I, I guess it will be Russell Wilson versus uh, Jalen Hurts. It'll be, it'll Unless, be. I think it's. Is it out there though? Because we don't play him uh, very good out there. No, I think it's. Hey, yeah, the bench it's, is it's, just as cold as Philadelphia. As it I is know, in but we the Steelers do not play good. <laughs> yeah, Steelers, it's in Philly. Yeah, we do not play good in Philadelphia. We just don't. I don't. It, we haven't won since the '60s. That's not mm. good. But maybe this year yeah, is different. You got to win A your conference mystical. games. Well, well, last yeah. year they didn't they didn't win in uh win, in Las Vegas in the nineteen eighties, you know. So they, they didn't also Seattle. win. Um, they where was the Seattle. other one? Seattle. Was, Seattle, yeah, 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 Seattle too. So maybe it's a bit different. I don't know. I, I see like I'm not jumping too far in in front, but we always That's do. Okay. Steelers fans. 
I see like 10, 11 wins. I see us winning the chance to win the division. So I, I'm not going to disagree with you there. And honestly, this Eagles maybe hurts us out. And then when we face him, we have to face Kenny and then TJ Watt just kills him. I killed Kenny. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? The, the, memes, I, the memes will be crazy. I, I, I got an oh, idea. Those see, see, yep. We need yeah. to make triple B t-shirts. Oh. oh my God. You killed Kenny and have picket lights. killed Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know that's going to happen though. They, 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 they mm -hmm. do with the Ducks. So they'll do it the other way too. I reckon if Kenny does start, if you, say he does, right? If they do the, the tush push with Kenny, that D line is going to feast on him. You're going to have like Minka running down there. You're going to have everyone running down. It'll be 11 men, uh, quarterback sneak, just running down there to hit him. Yep. That, that, would, that would actually be kind of funny to see. Like, I was that's Kenny the, Guy. I was cool with that's him. That's the kind WWE. Of that's a WWE storyline right there yeah. for the NFL. That yeah, could yeah. possibly happen. Jalen Hurts gets <clears throat> sick that week. Yep. Yep. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, I'm going to be a sore rib. And then they play Kenny Pickett uh, in yeah. Philadelphia versus uh, Fields. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Or, you know what? Imagine they had a fan vote. Fan vote would be Fields versus Kenny Pickett. That'd be a matchup. For sure. Or like the old gladiator, thumb up or thumb down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Don't rule, don't, <laughs> don't rule out Russell Wilson, though. I'm telling you, this, and you call him bloke, this bloke could probably throw mm. – he gets over 20 touchdowns. We are going to be something because we haven't had 20 touchdowns since, since Ben. So this whole – Steeler team is just fine. I'm telling you, they went to the casino and Omar Khan and Rooney and Tomlin took all their chips and pushed them all in because they're, they're like I said on my show, there it's a championship, AST championship or bust this year. And I'm I'm thinking positive. I'm thinking like you are, Mark, because I'm, well, I'm 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 going. I'm I'm in it to win it. It's crazy. Let's as do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna play something for 30 seconds for a little break. And then we'll get a tad bit of water. I'm going to do the last five minutes of just, I'm going to go feed you guys rapid fire questions. But this is me. I'm always positive. Okay. This is me two months ago about Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. What was it? CBS headline that Russell Wilson is favorite to be picked up by the Steelers. So these rumors, these rumors around yet again, another player that gets cut or a free agent is Russell Wilson trade here, there, and everywhere. Don't see it happening. Now, if I were to give it a rating or a chance out of 100, I'd say 1%. 1% chance, one go. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, then next year, it's on the Wilson train and see what happens. But I highly doubt it. <laughs> oh, my God. That is going to be archived <laughs> forever. Wow. Oh, you should see my Justin Fields one. It's over half an hour of like, I think six videos of me saying no to fields. So well, now, now you can't say no. Cause you, now you never know with Khan. You don't <laughs> Nope. Khan, you have no <laughs> idea. And I reckon too, if, there, if there's any steel fan out there that said, yeah, I knew we we're going to get Wilson and fields no. liar. There you are. Absolute lying. liar. Dead liar. Yeah. Like it's like talking, no it's like talking crap over a girl. That's an eight or a nine that, you're like, oh, no, I don't have any interest in her. And then she shows interest in you. are like, yeah, she's oh, yeah. fantastic. <laughs> she's awesome. She's fantastic. Oh, yeah. I love her. I love her. I love brunettes. They're great. Oh, oh my God. Oh, man. Yeah, Same thing. Good. All right, guys. Let's do some rapid fire questions. I'll go, I'll go from uh, Bubba to Shane, Bubba to Shane, like that, right? Okay. So, Bubba, who's the next per next, next Steelers uh, we sign, next uh, free agent? Oh, it would be Ty – oh, well, I'm going to say Tyler Board if it's not too much money, but he wants a little bit more money. But uh, I'm going to say Michael Gollop because I talked about it on my show. You can get him cheap. I'm going to go with Michael oh, Gollop. Oh, the Cowboys. Cowboys. Yes, I'll go with that. Yeah, one. I, I wouldn't be against that. I, I kind of like him there too. Uh, mm -hmm. as had, a big, he, you know, had Dak and stuff like that, but he could, yep. be, he could, be, could be key. All right, Shane, uh, another question. Uh, they, need, they need to sign an offensive tackle, but I'm going to go wide receiver, and I think uh, that Vikings, Jeff Jefferson, is it? Uh, or Jeffers? Do you they think the it. Steelers can trade for, for that bloke? I don't know, but I'm just – it's my wish. If that happened, that would break the internet. Mm -hmm. But you know what? <laughs> I, you know, I didn't think the other stuff – I didn't think Fields was going to happen. So I'm being <laughs> super optimistic. I'm usually a, ga a glass half-empty guy. But, yeah. you know. I, I think for me, if, 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 I, I would see – I've been hearing stuff about Scary Terry. I think he might be a fit for the Steelers too, for the Commanders. I don't think the Commanders ever fit him. I think he's a really good route runner like DJ was. But, like, he's just the – doesn't talk much. He's kind of a quiet guy, goes about his business and gets things done. I think he's he might good. be one that they, they might go and get – 
I've heard Tyler Boyd, but I know there's some things around. Yeah, uh, I think it's been a, a not the best communication from, from. I've heard reports and articles saying they're not talking that well, and I've heard that uh, uh, Ayu could be a Steeler two receiver. Might be an idea, but I wouldn't mind seeing like Scary Terry get a go uh, with the Steelers. I think mm-hmm. he could be the yin and yang to 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 uh, Pickens is a more bigger bloke, right? You know what I mean. So, all right. Uh, here's a question, and then I'll ask uh, Bubba next. So, Shane, first, who starts week one, Russell Wilson or Fields? Russell Wilson. That's that's not even right. he's gonna start 100%. I'm, I'm, I'm 100%. I would, right. I would bet, I would bet a, a considerable amount of money on that, and unless there's and Bubba, an injury, yeah. Bubba, what about yourself? Uh, Fields or Russell Wilson? If he doesn't get hurt in training camp or uh, in, in preseason, Russell Wilson first game. Right. And okay, let's 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 go back the other way then, Bubba. What about week ten, mid season? Who's starting then? Week ten, it could be uh, Fields because maybe Wilson got hurt. One, uh, you know what? The, the, it's going to be a double, uh, double, double snake. Mm. Whatever, either one. Um, but hopefully, Wilson. Be, hopefully, yeah. Wilson doesn't get hurt. Okay, but also too, if something happens, we have a, a starting quarterback to go right in. So we're not going to miss a beat. We're not missing a beat either way because both of them have strong arms. So we're not missing a beat. You think but, same too, too, Shane? You think Week Ten is going to be Russell Wilson unless something happens? Yeah, I think that's the case. But I'm, you're mm-hmm. going to see him in packages. Uh, he's going to come in for series. You know, they're going to. You're going to. It's going to be like the uh, Cordell Stewart slash you, where you had. That. You blokes you know, were. We're at that time. So, what what is that overall package? If they, if they if, how, how they use fields with what Russell Wilson on the same field at the same time or, or different? You want to go first on that, Bubba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so I don't I, know. I, go ahead, go ahead, Shane. I see it like okay. I don't know if you're familiar with college football. Tim Tebow. Yep. Played for Florida. They used mm-hmm. him in, and it's a freshman as like a, a a goal line package or like a you know a red zone package. Mm-hmm. I can see that happening where, you know, you put him in when, you know, you don't want to run Russell Wilson, you know, because because Fields is quite a, quite a bit bigger. You know, we talk about Cordell Stort, but Cordell Stort was built more like Russell Wilson. You know, mm-hmm. Fields is a, is a, is a stock, not stocky, but he's a thicker guy and a taller guy and has 25 pounds on 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 Wilson. So I see them using them him more on a like a third down. Uh, you know, red zone situation. That's just my, my, you know, I'm just grasping at straws here, but. What about you two, Bobby? You think they could use that idea with our court? I, I never saw Cordell Stewart play. Well, when Cordell Stewart played, he was, he came and uh, he, the slash thing was a receiver. He was great. He was catching everything. Actually, mm-hmm. everybody in Steeler Nation, in my opinion, if Cordell Stewart would have stayed a receiver, he probably would have been, uh, had some major, major records. He was, he yeah. was a, a great athlete. And he was catch. He caught everything was thrown to him, um, and he could run. And uh, there's been a video of him running 80 yards now against Carolina. And, and and the only thing that he had, and we had him on a show before on a mega cast, Cordell. I mean, and he was all that, but a bag of chips. He was before his time. So Justin Fields will probably be like Shane said in different packages, but they're not going to have. But there, you might see them both on the field at the same time mm. now, but you won't see that like very often might be a trick play or something here and there, but they can, and they could use that, but also too, they got to get, they're going to have to get another third string quarterback in the draft or they got to have more than two. I mean, a week ago we didn't have any, now we got two starting quarterbacks from two different teams. So I, I just see them and, and fields with his natural ability is not going to be set in the bench. They're going to keep, they're going to give him something to do. True. That's a, that's a very good point because, yeah, why do you go? And, you, you get him for a reason, right? You get into maybe I don't know, maybe, maybe Russell Wilson. I've heard talks where Russell Wilson signs a, co- a contract, a contract, right? You know, soon. But uh, but then why would you go and get Fields? You know, what, what's what's the long term option for, for for Fields, Shane? So Fields, I think, because he's he's so much younger than than Russell Wilson, is I think it puts him in a great situation he was in in Chicago where he gets to kind of sit back as a number two, you know, in an organization like the Steelers, mm-hmm. see what a guy that has a ring does and not be put into like thrown into the, into the fire right off. But right. I think Russell Wilson maybe has two years with the Steelers 
and then one, maybe feel one. one year. Yeah. yeah, he has a one year contract, but he has that option for twenty five million. That's really not a whole lot of money, right? Well, well I don't know if they quarterback. Pay, I don't know if they could pay both of them. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, but you know, even even if they it. just get one year with with Russell Wilson, you know, it gives them an opportunity to kind of either draft someone ready. next year well, and get now, fields yeah. ready. Now I'm getting keen because the way I said you're right, right. If they get Russell Wilson playing it out, he plays his year and Fields okay being the backup and he's 25. Russell Wilson is 37. You go to the draft, you build the O line. Next draft, build the O line again. And then yep, next one, you it. have all these dudes on the O line and really good running backs and whatever. Mm-hmm. And you go and get the receivers. Then you have almost like Fields is like has his team. Now, because now what, what Fields' his agent is telling him is listen, you know, this might not be the contract, but the next contract might next be one. big money for you with the Steelers as the franchise mm-hmm. quarterback if everything works according to plan. And then you have an offensive line. You have the, the key pieces to be successful. And you have a good contract and you have a, a Super Bowl contending team. Yeah, and, and the team has yeah, got better over this year and next year. And then mm-hmm. you have Fields being 26, 27, Russell Wilson. Maybe they tried doing this with Trubiscuit and Kenny Pickett, but this didn't really work out, right? No. Now he's no. the time, so. But also, two guys, uh, Will uh, Fields' contract, if when it does go up, he'll probably be in the top echelon of NFL quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. Will the Steelers take uh, all their pie and, and slice it up to get him right. paid? That's a lot of money, and Pittsburgh Steelers, over time, don't spend that big money, and it it'll be big money for Justin Fields, I believe. It it's going to be pretty big in a, probably two years, and I don't know if the Steelers can afford him. Yeah, they're kind picking of up a twenty five million dollar contract, so so um, he's owed he's owed three point two million, and. So it'll be four point five. So yeah, they they have they have them for I'd say two years, guys. Fields That's Wilson, Wilson or Fields, Fields, Fields. Okay. Wilson now for one year, but yeah. you know if you could keep Russell Wilson for two years, you can. I don't know. It's, it's not he, a bad if, situation to be if in. If Wilson throws twenty plus touchdowns this year, mm. you you sign him. He, he, you know what I mean? You sign, see if you can get a deal, and you still have those two quarterbacks, and and keep trucking along maybe you know i it just all depends i'm gonna ask you this one yeah. this one baba and then i'm gonna uh start to wrap it up shortly but baba do you think the fan base now is is, is really checked in whereas the last few years have been a bit like you know 50 50 well more it, it, well it all depends because me i'm always excited i always get bent out of shape when we lose and when mm. we lose to inferior teams it upsets me so um, but now, I mean, the talk when in, in Western Pennsylvania, just since Kenny left was people were like, ah, Kenny didn't get a chance, blah, 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 blah. But realistically, everybody has come out of the woodwork that I know is like, well, maybe we shouldn't have drafted Kenny, but you know what? It's here or there. I'm, I'm on the, the Wilson fields train. I, I, I don't care, um, on what anybody else says. I, I believe with the right offensive coordinator and Arthur Smith, I do believe this offense is going to be humming. And mm-hmm. I, I just hope um, that the three guys on defense who are big, big money restructure their contract and be like, mm-hmm. look, let's win a championship. Let's get all these pieces. I can afford to let, you know, five or eight or $10 million off my contract to get some people signed in so we can win a championship because it's all about winning a championship. Talk to Dan Marino about winning a championship. I guarantee 65,000 yards. If he'd had a Super Bowl ring, he'd be mm-hmm. like, hey, I'm a Super Bowl champion. And, he, and Dan Marino was the be- one of the best quarterbacks in all time. And now he could, he could never say it because he'd never won a championship. It's all about, to me, winning championships. When Rod Woodson left the Pittsburgh Steelers, he had a bar in Pittsburgh. It was humming. It was busy. Boy, when they didn't, uh, you know, they didn't sign him and got him out of there, that bar lasted about three months and it closed down. And then, uh, but Rod Woodson, they didn't, uh, they didn't make him a safety. They should have made him a safety. Look, he won a Super Bowl with the Ravens, and he played many, many years. And Rod Woodson was in the '80s. Rod Woodson was a hell of a player. So hopefully, as being a Steeler fan, we buy all into this. We see who they draft, and then I'm going to be like you because you're pretty positive on your stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I just want to see us just win one playoff game and then go from there. 
and then any, anything can happen. Yeah, I think things are turning around since like I think the Omar Khan regime right now, and, and guys, you know, Andy Wilde too, the, all the blokes in there. Mm-hmm. I think they're just making aggressive moves. They got rid of the center. They got rid of the right tackle, the punter. They got rid of Trubisky. They didn't bring back Mason Rudolph. Even though he played well for us, they're, they're making good moves like that. And I think we will be excited once we see Russell Wilson go to training camp and make some plays. And I think like we got burnt a bit last year because we were so hyped, the fan base, for the second year of Kenny Pickett. And we won all the preseason games and then we lost the first one. But I feel like in this season, once we get week one, if we win this game, whoever's first, I don't want to see, I just want to see a game where. We're, we just don't stress. We do a lot of stressing where it's always like, you know, down to three points or we're yeah. up by 14, the team comes back and it's like the last minute. I feel like the Steelers fan, they do it on purpose to us that we're just stressing the whole game and other teams like the Cowboys or the Chiefs or whoever, they beat their opponent by 35 to 10. I want to see something like that and where the team starts to click. But also too, it's an, it's a it's new, new players and quarterbacks and they're trying to get it together. But you've got a veteran you got a, uh, was, was Fields a number one overall pick? He was the number one, wasn't he? He's up there. Yeah, he was. No, he wasn't number one. He was the number, number one two. draft pick. Number one or number uh, two? He was number, he was number 11 overall in 2021. Oh, okay. okay, but the Bears have been drafting up. Like, the Bears, I don't know what the Bears are doing. By the way, the Omar Khan owns the Bears. He owns, owns the Steelers and the Bears. The same, you know? Well. <laughs> and, 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 um, and, and before I get off, I just want to say, Kenny Pickett's great, greatest game to me before I get off this show was against the, the, uh, the Raiders – on Frank of the yeah, immaculate reception when that was historic. Mm-hmm. And that was a time when all the Steeler fans, you know, the tragic passing of, of Frank O'Hara. So yeah, I will give, they, they, they I, will give with them. Yep. I will feel, mm-hmm. yeah, I will give Kenny his props because he did win that. That to me was a, a huge game. It was historic. And that was his, that was his cherry on top of a, a crappy Sunday. That was the was- peak. Yeah. But, but you know, you don't, you don't dress as a third, as the third quarterback, just because your feelings are hurt, you, you lose, you lose all those accolades. They just go right down the toilet, you know, and, now, but, and now you know, going to your question, you know, would be, you know, Steelers fans, uh, you know, with, with Khan and his, his shenanigans, how do they feel? I think the sweaty Steelers junkies, the, 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 the NFL nerds are freaking out. Okay. They're so excited. Mm-hmm. And I think the fringe fans are starting to to catch the fever. You know, mm-hmm. I see a little bit more of the of the fringe uh, fans being like, "Well, what's going on?" So even people that don't follow the Steelers know that this is this is uh, you know this is a pretty a pretty big trade. But, but when you but when you follow the Steelers, you want people to fear the Pittsburgh Steelers when the Pittsburgh Steelers come to your town or you're facing the Pittsburgh Steelers you want to be like oh my god we are facing the Pittsburgh Steelers that aura has not been around lately and I think maybe this year they get back to being that football team where the aura is oh my god we got to go to Pittsburgh we don't want to go to Pittsburgh and we don't want the Steelers coming to our stadium we don't want to face the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2024 that's all I well, you, you, you're, you're exactly right, Bubba, because what's going to happen is you're saying to yourself, oh, my gosh, we have to play a stingy defense mm-hmm. and we have to come up with this many points. Now it's, oh, my gosh, we're playing a stingy defense and we know Russell Wilson can throw 26 touchdowns. Right. We get 21 points on offense with our defense. We're beating anybody. Yes, sir. 24 to 20, 21 to 24 points a game. We are contending and we are going places. All righty, fellas. So I'm going to summarize – Everything in a nutshell with this little one graph, and then we're going to go around and say our final thoughts and give you guys shout outs for your channel, that kind of stuff. It's been fantastic. But here it is so far. I, I, I show this a lot. The Steelers are signed Russell Wilson. They got their punter. They got Queen. They traded Deontay Johnson. They got Dante Jackson, the cornerback, who'll probably be number two, and we'll see what else happens. They got my mate, Christian46. I can't say his name because I get banned on YouTube. By the way, that happens. I really that's, do. When I when I terrible. say his name, I my monetization goes down, which is nuts. Uh, so we got him for three years and a, a, a good deal too. You got uh, Miles Killebrew, you signed him for a two year deal. Kenny Pickett traded away. Then you got the Sean Elliott, who was the safety, right for the Ravens guy, and Montrevis. And he signed a two year deal, which I didn't really. That news went over my head completely, but like he can be back up, you know, on that line. Van Jefferson will probably be like a third or. a Fourth, maybe a receiver, depending how Calvin Austin goes. Then you got Justin Fields. So so far, 
It's been a pretty crazy season, right? And it's not having mm-hmm. started yet. Nope. So I things agree. have been moving. All right. So do you want to give a, a, a shout out, uh, Baba, to, to your channel? And then also, Shane, you can, you can go after if you want. Well, it, it was an honor to be uh, international here on the uh, Steelers Nation Australia. And Mark, I thank you so much. Um, everybody, you guys can reach me at the Triple B Experience Show, the Black and Gold Dynasty Show. Every Wednesday night, we talk all Steeler football. I have other shows, but if you hit the channel, you never know what I'm talking about. But Wednesday nights, it's all Steelers. And what about yourself, Shane? What where are you up to? Are you, on, are you on radio? Are you like, you know, on, on the, um, yeah, the, I'm a, the voice recorder I'm for on, Walmart? I try to hang out with Bubba as much as I can, but on <laughs> on Tuesdays I have my fan to fan show uh, at seven. And then I have the Big 12 uh, fan zone show for Big 12 college football. And that's on Thursdays at seven. So cool. I'll, but you I'll... can catch me every other Wednesday and Friday. I'm I might be on the triple b and and down the local pub just having schooners and just you know yelling out ghost stealers every now and then so that's that's <laughs> what i hear that's what i hear uh i do want to say uh one big thanks to you can you read that i can yeah i can't say it i can don't, i can don't see it. it no i, I want to say thank you to you guys now i my, one of my uh uh members here on the on the holy Dooley university got me this it's a it's a christian 46 it's the only way i can say it uh, without getting demonetized, uh, got me a pickleball paddle. So I want to give a big, sh- uh, big thanks it's to you like guys. It's like hunts. Right? It's like hunts. Hunts yeah. ketchup. It's it's hunts <laughs> ketchup. Oh, now I'm going. <laughs> no, no, no it's, you didn't say it. I said it, and I said it properly. It's the last name there of the go. of the long snapper for the yeah. Steelers. He is awesome. The T and a Z. He, he is a, a a national treasure here in Australia. I'll tell you that much. That is nice looking, yeah. though. That is yeah. that's a nice. That is nice. Yeah, looking. he's he that plays is- uh, he plays pickleball. I want to try and I want to verse him one day. I want, yeah. I want to go overseas and verse him. In. I, I think I, I'll get him. I think I'll be able, probably can't snap the ball as long as he can because that's his job. Uh, you might but, um, you might smash some of that smashing hunts. Well, on that note, uh, <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh. I smashed. Oh. I, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, well, sorry, yeah. Western Pennsylvania yeah. guys, you'll never do it again. <laughs> never get two Yunzers in the in a, in a We like Heinz in, 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 in Pittsburgh. I love Heinz ketchup. We, 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 I love Heinz Heinz. Ketchup. we don't use Hunts. I love I love Heinz ketchup. Love it. I love I love. Uh, you know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. Let Thank me play you. this. I'm playing the Khan artist uh, artist audio again because it's it's fantastic for 11 seconds. Thank you, Steel Nation, who checked this out. This would be like a premiere or something that has now. It's been, it's been done and dusted. And you guys are awesome. All right. And that was awesome. Uh, so, that's, man, great point. I'm, now, I'm, now I'm excited about the Steelers because of you blokes. Well, uh, I, I was trying to try to get down a bit. And no, no, no. All up. All in. I'm all in it to win it. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you Thank later. You. Here we go. Night one after the next two. Is he still aggressive? Yeah, what do they call him? The con artist?